A violent weekend in Pasadena is keeping detectives busy and people in one neighborhood on edge. A gunman shot two teenagers as they walked on a sidewalk outside Vela Park, we're told. One of the victims is a 14-year-old girl. CBS 2's Rachel Kim has the hunt for those suspects tonight. Yeah, so I was just home watching TV. I just heard, you know, real quick, five bangs, and then uh, I could hear, like, the girls screaming. And I actually came out here and just took a look. Uh, I called 911. What Nathan Rao heard around 8.40 Sunday night, right across the street from his home on the 300 block of East Villa Street, were gunshots that hit an 18-year-old man several times in the upper body and a 14-year-old girl in the neck. When police got to Villa Park, they found both victims on the grass. Uh, just like the worst you can imagine. Pasadena police say the victims are in critical condition but are expected to survive. Based on their preliminary investigation, Lieutenant Bill Grisafi says there were at least two men in the suspect vehicle. The car pulled up alongside the two victims who are on the sidewalk. They asked them something in, in English. The victims didn't understand what they were asking. Um, the pastor got out and began firing rounds at the at both of them. Police say the victims have no gang affiliation, but are looking into the possibility the suspects may have gang ties based on their M.O. Investigators don't have a good description of the car or the two suspects. And the passenger did have something covering his face that made it difficult to recognize or to identify him. Pasadena police say this shooting was one of several violent incidents that happened in the city over the weekend. They also had a deadly stabbing and a car-to-car -car shooting where almost 20 bullets were fired. To combat further violence, police tell us there will be a noticeable increase in uniformed officers patrolling impacted areas. People who are restricted from uh, carrying firearms, we, we will hopefully come in contact with them and, and are able to get more firearms off the streets. Uh, maybe we can decrease the, the level of gang activity. Lieutenant Grisafi says officers will also be out trying to find out who's responsible for the crimes over the weekend. Residents on Villa Street hope so too because they're concerned about the violence around the park. Most of us don't go through our front doors, uh, especially along this path. I just hope it stops. Like, you know, I think it's sad. Anyone with information about this shooting is asked to call Pasadena police. Reporting from Pasadena, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.